Hi guys! Well, we're at Friday, October 24th, two weeks and one day from my figure competition. Yay! I'm so excited! I really am. So, um, let's see. Catching you up to date. So, these last few weeks, like I said last um, video, are really hard. <laughs> <laughs> They're really hard, <laughs> really, really hard. In fact, I kind of blanked out of my previous ones, except remembering how really, really hard they are. But um, maybe I remember. I don't know. But anyway, um, the diet gets really tough, and uh, that makes everything harder. So this week, I struggled through... The week a lot, like, oh my God, another day of training. Oh my God, can I do it? You know, that whole thing that I talked about last time. Let's see. Um, but I did get through it. Let's see. So it's Friday. So now what's left is my afternoon CrossFit. And then tomorrow I have a 5K race. I hope it's not pouring rain because it's been pouring rain here, but we'll see. Um, my goal is just to have fun. I also would like to like try to run a little faster for a change, so we'll see. It depends how much energy I have after CrossFit. That thing is uh, that is tough a tough workout. So that's all the training I have left. Yay! I'm so excited for this week. Um, let's see, what I was noticing at the gym this morning was that I still have my strength. Like, I'm lower in weight, you know, I should be, than I have, you know, over this training cycle. But I, I'm lifting the same, so my strength hasn't gone down. Um, but, uh, you know, I'm hungry, so... <laughs> So my stamina is a little less. <laughs> but that was interesting to notice that I, and my strength hasn't gone down. I mean, I'm not a power lifter or anything. I'm, I, I've just been doing kind of, for me, moderate weight this season. Um, so um, that, that was neat to observe. Um, I got really hungry. I was woke up really hungry. I went to the gym hungry. I was really hungry through my workout and I left my cardio just a few minutes early because I was really hungry. I wanted to go come home and eat. So that sucks. I hate that. Um, so I'm, I'm just counting down the days and the weeks and, and, uh, working on projects around the house, keep my mind occupied and my body occupied while I'm around the house. Um, so that's been fun, you know, little sewing projects like hemming or sewing muffins coats or um, carpet projects or <laughs> whatever projects I can come up with. Um, I, I enjoy that, so I'm I'm doing more of those because I canceled Netflix. Because I spend way, way too much time watching TV, Netflix. So I canceled that So I, with the goal of doing more projects. So that has been fun. And so I got to start preparing for the uh, competition. Like making sure I have everything in my little suitcase that you take. I'm pretty sure I do. But I should double check that. And just uh, I want to, you know, as always, organize the house. So I don't have to fret about anything. I can find everything as my carbs are <laughs> causing a mind blank. So I have one more week of full training and work, and then I'm taking the whole next week off plus two days. So taking like almost a week and a half off work, which I'm really excited about. I haven't taken a vacation, I don't think, all year. So I'm really excited about that. And uh, one minute, that whole, you know, mental and emotional roller coaster, one minute, I think, oh, I can get through this next week of training. And then the next minute, it's like, oh, my God, I don't know if I can get through the next week of training. But I'll just do it like I'm doing it, you know, one work at a time, out, one work out at a time. And I realized a long time ago um, this that if I need to cut back in weight, it's okay. I don't have to kill myself. When I first 
did a competition. I thought, because I knew nothing of the sport at all, I thought I had to lift heavy, 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 as heavy as I could the whole time for preparation um, so I could build muscle, so I could be on stage with muscle. But I didn't realize that that's not how it works with prep because um, the goal is to lose weight, lose body fat, um, and hang on to the muscle you've already built. Um, so by this time, you know, I'm not expecting to build muscle. I just want to maintain muscle and um, you just keep it there <laughs> instead of lose it in the losing process. Um, what else? I am starting to listen to motivational um, YouTube videos and um, just uh, and also googling more uh, figure competition videos so I can uh, get inspired and also watch the pros and how they walk on stage and pose on stage that's really helpful and just uh, trying to keep my mind positive and the things going in my head positive and um, so there you go kind of a not much to say because my mind is kind of blah and I'm just getting through the workouts is my goal <laughs> and staying on my diet I get tempted to have a little extra here and there I did have a little extra I think yesterday morning um, because I knew these next few days were going to be intense workouts. So I had a couple tablespoons of uh, almond nut butter be, it, before my workout. And that really helped my workout. I It really helped. And it helped recovery through the day. But then this morning, it's like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do it again. Because I don't want to, you know, add fat when I'm trying to take it off. <laughs> So I'm trying to be nice to myself and yet follow the plan and do what it takes to get where I want to be on stage. Good news is I got in touch with the woman who is designing my custom suit this time. I got a new suit designer this time and we'll see how my new suit looks. She's a really um, professional pretty famous suit designer Renee Paz so I'm excited about that and I'm looking forward to seeing my new suit and she's working on it so hopefully it'll come soon because there's only two weeks and I want to try it on and get practice in it that'll be really exciting so that's a good motivator to stay on top of things so at this point it's like just keep going Kathy just trying to get myself to keep going and um, it's only two weeks only one more week of full work and training and then it's peak week so that is so exciting you just don't know um, sometimes you guys have questions I don't know if I've answered them very well yet um, again my category is masters figure because I'm 51 so you can you can enter categories by height in figure. So there's like a sh real short division up to like 5'1", and then 5'1 to 5'4", and then 5'4 to 5', you know, whatever. And that, that helps um, because it's really hard when you're up against a really tall person with lanky, lanky structure and you're a short person you just it just doesn't compare very well on stage so when you compare it against everybody that's around the same height it's much more fair comparison so younger women you know younger people do the open categories mostly I mean anybody can do it I could do it but if you're up against the younger women it's a little tougher when you're older your body's a little different older so I've just so far just been in the masters category so there's height categories and then there's and then once you're 35 and up you can do by the age so then like 35 to 45 45 to 55 or whatever the show breaks it down I'm hoping there's a 50 and up category because then it's more fair for us over 50 years <laughs> 
So um, that's the category I'm going to be in is the uh, Masters figure. And, you know, maybe next year I'll do a Masters category by age and do an open category by height, um, which would be just be a little more competition, just a little more fun. The problem is you have to pay for two entries that way. So it's more expensive to do it that way. And then in figure, what we do is we walk, we all walk on stage one by one in a line, and then we we pose. We have a front pose, a side pose, a back pose, and then the next side, and then front. And you get compared against each other as you're posing. So that's what we do. <laughs> So uh, I got to practice posing a lot and um, that's that. So just trying to get through the days and keep positive and keep on track. So that's where I'm at today. Kind of um, short but sweet and I will talk to you soon. Bye.